hello out there welcome to this tutorial is statistics still on group data mean median and mode this video contains the second problem on calculating mean median and mode of grouped data so we go with the problem the table below shows the scores out of 60 of applicants in an aptitude test calculate the mean median and mode of the distribution in the first video where we calculated mean median and mode of grouped data the data were arranged in ascending order but in the second problem the data are arranged in descending order so you can see 51 to 60 41 to 50 31 to 40 21 to 30 11 to 20 and 1 to 10 this arrangement is in descending order that is from the highest class to the lowest class if it is arranged in ascending order it will be the other way around so we are to calculate the mean median and the mode so we start with the mean you still familiar with our usual formula summation of fx over summation of f so here there is no x we know this as our frequency this is our frequency so we have to create another row for x which is the mid value of the class intervals so our new row here is x so to get the mid value of this class interval 51 plus 60 divided by 2 gives 55.5 41 plus 50 divided by 2 gives 45.5 31 plus 40 divided by 2 gives 35.5 21 plus 30 divided by 2 gives 25.5 11 plus 20 divided by 2 gives 15.5 and 1 plus 10 divided by 2 gives 5.5 so we go ahead again to create a column for fx that is the frequency times the mid value so we have the row fx this is 4 times 55.5 which gives 222 7 times 45.5 gives 318.5 10 times 35.5 gives 355 8 times 25.5 gives 204, 6 times 15.5 gives 93, and 5 times 5.5 gives 27.5. Now we go ahead to add the fx. So that is summation of fx. So adding 222 up till 27.5, we have 1220 then we also go ahead to add the frequency that is summation of uh, fx this is our f here adding 4 to 7 10 8 6 and uh, 5 we have a uh, 40 that is the summation of the frequency then we now go ahead to substitute into the mean formula substituting into the mean formula we have 1220 divided by 40 which gives 30.5 this is the mean score of this uh, distribution so we are done with the mean we go for the median so the formula for median still remain lm plus summation of f over 2 minus cf ca over fm and w while lm here is the lower class boundary of the median class summation of fx is the sum of the frequencies cf ca means the cumulative frequency of the class after the median class here it is arranged in descending order it is going to be after but if it is arranged in descending order it is going to be before so then the frequency of the median class multiplied by the class width or class 
size so we have to identify first the median class since the population here is 40 40 divided by 2 gives 20 meaning the median scores will be 20th and 21st uh, scores we are going to add the frequencies to see where the two scores lie so 4 plus 7 gives 11 11 plus 10 gives uh, 21 that means the 20th and the 21st scores are within this uh, class interval so this is our median class so since we've gotten our median class we can now calculate the lower class boundary of the median class the lower class boundary of the median class we have to identify the lower limits of the class interval and the upper limit of the class interval after it which is this so 31 plus 30 divided by 2 gives 30.5 that is the lower class boundary of the median class then we go for summation of f over 2 from the calculation of the mean the summation of f is 40 divided by 2 will give 20 so summation of f over 2 gives uh, 20 then we go for the cumulative frequency of the class after the median class we can just add it from the right hand side here so that is 5 plus 6 is 11 11 plus 9 gives 19 so we have it as 19 then we go for the frequency of the median class the frequency of the median class is 10 so we have it as a 10 now to get the class width so there are various ways of getting the class width we used one method in the first uh, problem to this uh, tutorial what we did was get the upper class boundary minus the lower class boundary that's one method the other method is list out all the elements in the interval that is 31 to 40 then how many elements do you have there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so that gives the class width to be ten that's one way or uh, we have earlier said you get the class boundary of the median class and find their positive difference so that is that so from here we have gotten all the parameters needed to calculate the median of the distribution so we go ahead to substitute into the formula so the lower class boundary of the median class is 30.5 so we have it as 30.5 plus summation of fx over 2 is 20 so we have 20 minus 19 minus 19 divide by 10 multiply by the class width which is 10 then 20 minus 19 gives 1 1 over 10 times 10 gives 1 so that means this is 30.5 plus 1 and our median is 31.5 so we've gotten the median for this distribution so we go to the mode to calculate the mode here the formula is giving us lm plus delta 1 over delta 1 plus delta 2 then multiply by the class width lm is still the lower class boundary of the modal class since the arrangement is in descending order delta 1 is going to be the positive difference between the frequency of the modal class and the frequency of the class after it then delta 2 will be the positive difference between the frequency of the modal class and the frequency of the class before it while w still remain the class width so we need to identify the modal class the class with the highest frequency which is this is the modal class so it's still the same thing with the median class 
so getting our lm will be very simple which is the same as 30.5 our class width will still be the same so our delta one here will be the frequency of the modal class and the one after it that's going to be 10 minus 8 which gives a uh, 2 then delta 2 is the frequency of the modal class and the one before it which is 10 minus 7 which gives 3 so our class width is still the same as the class width of the median class and it is 10 now we've gotten all the parameters needed to calculate the mode of the distribution that is lm is 30.5 plus delta 1 is 2 over 2 plus 3 then multiply by the class width which is 10 so 2 over 5 times 10 that will give us a 4 so that's going to give us 30.5 plus 4 that's it. 0.5 plus 4 which gives 34.5 that is the mode of this distribution we've done justice to this problem we've calculated the mean median and the mode of the distribution and this is the end of this tutorial remember to help our channel to grow subscribe to our youtube channel until we come your way again goodbye